I'm well familiar with this narrative that human beings are a plague on the planet. Are, are you saying that we are nature's big mistake, that the gifts that make us human are worthless? That would make us an exception to every other species on Earth. Every species on Earth has unique characteristics that enhance the resiliency and the robustness of the ecosystem and that propel evolution to a new step. Are humans an exception to that? Are, are, are we just the, the, the evil beings that are in the way of beauty and life? Or is it that we have not yet applied the gifts that make us human toward their true purpose as a civilization? And what is that? It's to contribute to the furtherance of life and beauty on Earth, to make the world even more alive and more beautiful. All of this ecological destruction hasn't actually worked, you know? I mean, if it, if it were making us happier and happier, maybe you could justify it, but it's not even doing that. And uh, the irony is that our happiness, fulfillment, uh, joy, thriving, is actually readily available and it doesn't depend on more technology, more resource consumption or anything like that. I don't know if you've traveled a lot, but if you have, like, where do you find the happiest people? Are they in London? Are they in Tokyo? Are they in New York? Or are they in, you know, uh, the Gambia? But the animating principle under those priorities is, is love of life. So I said, first priority, is to preserve whatever pristine ecosystems are still here, which is like, especially the Amazon, the Congo, um, but even like any small wetlands um, or, or like any place that is, has health in it, we protect it. And the second priority is to restore, regenerate the broken places, especially agricultural soils. And then third is to stop dousing the world in poison all the time. Herbicides, uh, insecticides, uh, toxic waste, radioactive waste, electromagnetic pollution, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think that is partly what's behind the insect apocalypse. And then fourth priority, and in my mind, it's a distant fourth, is to reduce carbon emissions can't hurt you know it's putting like more stress on a system that's already stressed the principle is whatever you say it comes from a trust in our collective purpose and the purpose of each individual human being which is to contribute to life and beauty on earth and when i speak to anybody it could be exxon mobil executive and I'm, I'm standing in the knowing that this person on a deep level cares about life, has places that are special to him, and that on some level wants to serve life, wants to be a force for, for positive change in the world. If I stand strongly in that, then he knows that I'm an ally. He knows that I'm actually on some level on his side, even if I disagree with his opinions, and he'll listen to me. He won't be like he, he people can feel how you see them. People have a have a internal uh, guidance system like we can sense. And if I'm truly willing to see the best in him, then my words will have power. He'll trust me. He'll know that I'm not just trying to convert him I'm not trying to convince him. I'm not trying to dominate him, to like fight his evidence and logic with my superior evidence and logic and make him run away with his tail between his legs. The nature of the revolution that we are in right now is in how we understand ourselves to be, who we are, therefore who we are being. And we have to stand in the new human, which is actually the ancient human also. The new human, which is like, yeah, I am here to give to the world. 
I'm here to, to, to receive and to give, to be part of evolution, to be part of the planet coming more and more alive. Every stage of evolution has been a coming more alive of the planet, from the first eukaryotic cells to the first multicellular organisms, to plants, to flowering trees, like the, the world got more and more and more alive. That's, that's what life wants. It's to live. And we are the latest creation of nature for the same thing. When we stand in that and see each other as that, then we'll, we'll figure out what to do.